Welcome to packing day. So today, um, I thought I would lay my stuff out. Um, I usually do this before I pack it up um, to make sure I have everything before it goes in the bag and before you fly off so you don't have um, any issues. So I'll, I would like to go through um, what I take. It uh, doesn't matter if it's one day ride, uh, it doesn't matter if it's local, um, you know, a couple hours away, or if it's across the country. I take exactly the same things. And it pretty much is everything that I need, um, yeah, to be self-sufficient, um, you know, without taking major, major tools. Uh, but it'll get you out of pretty much almost any situation. There's the bike there. I pack it all up inside there. It's a, it's a Evoc, Evoc um, bag. This is the one I've I've always used. Um, never had any issues with it. it seems to work really well. Um, so I I bought it. Come well, it doesn't come with this frame, but you can buy this frame. There's a metal frame inside here or aluminum frame inside here that you can buy as an option uh, that mounts that straps to the case itself, which I recommend. This um, it's worked perfectly. So basically, it's like a rack. You take it out, you mount your bike in it, then you, um, you know, put your, take your pedals off, do everything you want to do to it, uh, as far as wrapping it. I have a chain, a chain cover on it. Uh, one thing I did do, well, you can't, oh, well, you can kind of see there, is I, I zip tied my chain to my chain ring, um, and then I took the real, rear derailleur off and I, I put it inside here, which seems to work really well. Um, as you can see, I put towels over the straps where it goes, goes on there. This is another option. I believe it's an option. I'm not quite sure. It's a, it's a handlebar thing that you take your handlebars off and it mounts to your frame and holds everything in there. Uh, this piece I think comes with it. It's a little, um, padded, padded piece that your forks go, goes around your forks. That works really, really well. And then I just basically wrap, oh, and here's the, uh, you take the seat. The seat out and there's a little spot to put your seat in and some place to put your your tools and stuff um but i wrap the whole thing i put my bottles in there with my hydration um drinks uh packages i wrap this in just a just a lightweight towel and um and your wheels your wheels go in the in the outside here right in right inside there so um yeah, like I said, I've traveled with this um, all over, all over, all over the country, all over different countries, and it's worked great. Every time my bike has arrived, perfect. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really, really great, great bag. Um, I really what we have here is I take, I clean my bike really well before it goes in there. I don't, I, I... I lube the um, the brakes, but other than that, the brake cables and stuff, but other than that, I don't do anything. I don't do the chain. So when I get there, I, I, I take lube, so I lube the chain. Uh, I take um, cleat. I have speed play. I take the cleat lube because um, it, it can it can kind of wear off over time, and I don't want to be stuck over there because I'm over there for a while. Um, I take muck off bike cleaner spray fluid i put in these little spray cans uh chain degreaser and a little spray can as well um up here is a, a chain cleaner brush uh, zip ties uh, rubber gloves instead of taking the whole tube i take i just squirt some grease in um in a little ziploc bag same with this this is the carbon um carbon grip that uh helps your seat post from sliding up and down and creaking and stuff. Um, the other thing, uh, my number, my number plate, so I can stick my number on there, my glasses, DI2 charger. I take two pumps. I take a little floor. This little floor pump works really, really well. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of little free foot, foot standing, I guess, foot standing pump, <laughs> but it works really well. This is the one I'll take on the ride with me. Um, and one thing about about pumps, this is a ro uh, rocket rocket race, uh, Topeak, I guess. Um, so one thing about the pumps is, I found in the past that I've taken other pumps out, gotten a flat, and was not really able to pump up 
my tire properly. So that's, yeah, so this one I really tested it, tried it out, and it seems to work really well. Um, you take the, you take this piece out that's flexible, which is kind of nice. Um, so it's a little like tube um, that connects onto your, onto your wheel. So there's a little bit of flexibility there, which is kind of nice. Uh, I take a lock, this little lock, which is nice. It fits in the back of my jersey. If I go out on rides and I want to stop in the store or something. Scissors to cut my number plates down. Uh, this is um, pedal, a pedal wrench. One extra tire. I don't take two. I just take one, just in case, a new one. Um, three tubes. Um, two in here, one, in, one out here. And then I've also got in my in my bag a couple of tubes so I'm more than set you can always find tubes too I take a spare chain just in case pedals obviously your seat clamp don't forget that uh, a wrench tire pressure gauge um, extra brake blocks uh, the di2 little um, this is the di2 uh, little inserter cable inserter a uh, torque wrench, five millimeters, with all the bits I need in there. Uh, chain keeper, so when I clean my bike, I can clean the chain really well. And extra batteries for, I have stages power meter on my bike, um, so I carry extra batteries. That would be the same batteries that are in the heart rate monitor over there. And the one thing for stages, um, this is a good tip. Call stages up, tell them what power meter you have. They will send you for free. Um, extra these little extra caps and o-rings because um, the caps I have the older version there's been issues with they say leaking and all the kinds of stuff like that um, I haven't really had a problem with it the caps over time just get brittle and they break especially if you're changing the battery out but before I go I'll change out the battery and then what I'll do is um, I'll take an extra little cap but I have this um, silicone grease that I put on the O-ring. I just put it inside the bag as well. And it's made for O-rings. Um, and it works really, really well. And then I just install the new O-ring, put that on there, and I, I never had a problem with it. So that seems to work really well. Um, helmet, obviously. Shoes, obviously. Uh, and then it all goes in that bag. And then it all goes in the other bike bag. Um, And well, one thing one thing that I do that I think some people don't do it. Some people carry their helmet and their shoes with them. Um, I don't really do that, uh, which I I don't know, good or good or bad, I guess. Um, but if I get there, I usually I'll almost always leave, you know, a, a week if possible before the race. So I figure if they lose my bike, they should be able to get it to me within a week. Um, which I've, they've lost luggage before, and that seems to be a few days, and they can get it to you. Um, if it breaks, that's another issue. But I'll, you know, I'll still have my pedals and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, if by chance it did not get to me in time, I know it's kind of crazy, but I don't, I don't know that I would scramble to find shoes and a helmet and ride a bike, a rented bike. Um, yeah, I think it would just frustrate me because I'm the kind of person that that wants to do the best that I can. And if I am on if I'm on like some rental bike that doesn't fit right, that you know I'm trying to like you know work through it because it's not the bike that you trained on. I know I'm gonna push myself harder than I should. I know I'm probably gonna get an injury because I'm doing that because I'm frustrated. So rather than chance that i just figure if it doesn't get there it's karma <laughs> i'm not supposed to ride in it maybe it's saving me from crashing who knows touch wood who knows <laughs> um yeah but that's what i figure i figure you know everything happens for a reason so if that's the reason then i will film the race <laughs> pull out the drone get great footage and do that instead <laughs> uh and have great pasta so um so yeah i hope this kind of helps people kind of judge on what they would take to uh, events that they go to and like I said this is this is everything um that I think I would need I I can't think of anything else um if it, if anything else went wrong um the only only other thing I would say is a rear derailleur hanger um because you can I guess snap them off 
I've never done it. Um, I should probably carry one. Um, I went to my local bike shop and they didn't have one in stock, so I kind of ran out of time or I would have it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if you like this video, if this is interesting to you, please give it a thumbs up. Please think about just subscribing if it's some, something that you like, content. I try to do videos on um, cycling, uh, and then also kind of traveling in different areas and kind of experiences um, when I'm out traveling. So a little bit of everything and some bike, not maintenance really, but kind of like things that I do with bikes. So yeah, thanks a lot.